Hi, let's talk about the cheapest yet one of the best eye trackers available out there. I really hope you're just as excited as I am because every time I upload a clip using an eye tracker, I get stoned by people asking how I manage to move my in-game camera. So guys, today we're going to do an in-depth review of Beam Eye Tracker. So what is Beam Eye Tracker? Well, in short, it's an affordable eye tracker. Extensively said, it is an AI-powered software that turns your webcam or smartphone into an eye tracker and, along many other features, interprets your eye or implicitly your head movement in an accurate way and gets it translated into camera movement within your games. Even though it mainly provides eye tracking, as I said before, it indirectly supports head tracking functionality or both at the same time, which is the way I personally utilize it. Talking about my specific use case, I normally use it with driving simulators like Euro Truck Simulator 2 and trust me, it makes the whole experience so much more immersive you won't be able to get back to mouse or button camera control. As I have always said, it's not only more realistic but it's also highly practical, it allows you to drive, shift gears, check mirrors, enjoy scenery, pull out of junctions or park easier for example. I must admit I was initially skeptical about this because it's only based on webcams or generally normal cameras so the first thing that comes to mind is, can it be as accurate as conventional head or eye trackers? Well, I haven't tested all of them but especially considering the overall low cost, Beam Eye Tracker is surprisingly good. There is no jumping, it's not losing the track, it just works. And the good news is, for those who are not yet sure about it, you can try it out for free by using the Steam demo and by following my tutorial. So again, very satisfied with the tracking, especially at this price point. Speaking of which, you can get Beam Eye Tracker both on Steam and on their website for roughly 30 bucks. But if you're going to use the link in the description and this discount code, you will benefit from a 10% price cut. But keep in mind, this offer is only available for the next 10 days. By the time you're watching, there should be a detailed step-by-step -step tutorial on this channel, so I will leave a link in the description, but until then, let's briefly talk about how this technology works. First of all, you will either need a webcam, it can be an internal camera, like you would typically find on a laptop, or an external webcam, just like the ones listed in the webcam recommendation list on their website. Another option consists in using your smartphone and this method has a couple of possibilities as well. For iPhones with Face ID there is a dedicated app, in this case Beam will take advantage of the 3D sensor for accurate tracking. The other option is an Android device running Android 14 or later which is going to have a built-in webcam feature that will allow your phone to be natively recognized as a webcam by your computer. On older Androids or iPhones, you can use a webcam app like Camo and they will get recognized as a webcam. I personally tested the iPhone app, works perfectly but on the long run I am going to use my Logitech C920 webcam which I found to work fantastically good as well and it's also a bit more convenient. It has 1080p resolution and 30 frames per second, but Beam also supports cameras up to 120 FPS, so if you want even smoother tracking you should get a camera with a higher frame rate. Next up, you'll obviously need the Beam Eye Tracker app on your PC. Just as I said before, Beam is the smart AI based software that will interpret the image from your webcam and translate that into accurate tracking. Once it's going to track you in a reliable way, it will hand the signal to the next step, and that being OpenTrack. OpenTrack is a bridge between Beam Eye Tracker and the game itself, it's completely free and again will take the accurate eye and head tracking signal from Beam and summarize it into a head tracking movement on all the axes that's compatible and will be sent out to the game. More details about OpenTrack in the tutorial. And finally, the last step is the game. For now I've tested Beam in Eurotruck Simulator 2, the bus and Microsoft Flight Simulator. All of them handle the input very well. In fact, there is a full list of compatible games on their website, but at a first glance, most of the popular titles are going to work just fine. When it comes to other features, worth mentioning is the eye tracking overlay, which basically displays where you're looking on the screen. 
Also there's a multi-screen pointer and mouse jumping feature. Just by assigning a key and looking at a specific spot, you'll be able to send the mouse cursor right there. For those of you who are wondering whether it works with glasses or not, it does, but you have to keep in mind that strong glare might decrease the performance. In conclusion, if you want to turn your webcam into a VR-like setup and have the most realistic and immersive gaming experience, just follow my step-by-step -step tutorial and give Be My Tracker a shot. Also, don't forget about the limited time offer. For the next 10 days, you can benefit from a 10% discount using this coupon code and the link in the description. From now on, you will see this software in action throughout most of my videos because, as you might have guessed by now, Be My Tracker is officially our sponsor. So that's about it. Until the next one, stay tuned.